In today's world of capitalism, globalization, and increased usage of social media, we're constantly bombarded with information that subconsciously shapes the way we think. The ads of the bags or shoes, the launch of the newest iPhones, the polished images and videos of friends or people we follow on social media. It's easy to see why many of us constantly felt like we don't have enough, or that we haven't done anything worthwhile in our life, or that we live such a boring life. This is an interesting topic that I've always wanted to talk about, mainly because I found myself in this position countless of times, making myself miserable by looking at what others have that I don't have, and I'm sure many of you out there have as well. The past year in particular have been really interesting. As I've spent more time at home, it has allowed me to take a step back and appreciate what I have in life. Many of us may have heard this famous quote from Theodore Roosevelt, Comparison is a thief of joy. Essentially, when we compare ourselves to others, we're coming from a mindset that is often unhealthy and may be left with a feeling of insufficiencies or inadequacy. If we actually take a step back and look at the bigger picture, most of us are actually in a very fortunate position. We have access to things and technology that people from royalties decades ago can't even think of. We have the freedom to express our thoughts and showcase our creativity. Yet, this doesn't necessarily translate to happiness and satisfaction. In moderation, comparison can be a good thing as it drives our motivation to improve. However, the problem rises when we spend too much time comparing and we start nitpicking on the little things or little aspects of life that we feel like we're lacking. I think a big part of it rises from the way we are raised in this current system of education society. Many of us state in job we hate or go in debt to university studying things we're not even remotely interested. Many of us, myself included, do these things because we feel like there's a certain perceived expectation that is imposed upon us by society, whether it be friends, parents, or colleagues. Doing this puts us in a position where we feel unfulfilled, hence making us more vulnerable to fall down the hole of comparison. The truth is, from my personal experience, none of that actually matters. What matters most is what we want to do in our life. All of us came from different background and journey, and we all have different goals in life. It doesn't matter what society's expectations are, or what the media wants you to believe the definition of success is. All that matters is to be your own definition of success. I think when we realize this and take a step back, we can begin to shift our mindset, set our goals to reflect what we actually want, and align our expectations accordingly. It is also important to remember to enjoy the process and not get too hung up on metrics or numbers. When we enjoy the process day after day, we we'll wake up with a purpose or passion, we will be much more fulfilled and less likely to fall into the trap of comparing and feeling inadequate. Yes, chances are it will be difficult. We all have our own ego, myself included. I've just turned 23 a couple of months ago, so in the grand scheme of things, I'm pretty inexperienced. However, what I've learned about myself is that I can sometimes be very competitive and be too hard on myself. At times, this can be a good thing, as it constantly drives me to want to better myself and improve day after day. But other times, not so much. I've found that if I'm not careful, I can fall into the trap of beating myself up or questioning my own abilities if I did something wrong in my life. I came to realize that it is important to try looking internally instead of externally. What I mean by that is, when you compare, look at where you are 2, 3 or even 10 years ago. Chances are, whatever it is you're pursuing, if you actually put in the long hours and stick to it long enough, you will be way better than you were before. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our work to strangers on the internet but what might seem like an overnight success 
is most likely a accumulation of years of hard work or experience that is undocumented and not posted online. Another thing I found helpful is to manage and be more mindful of spending time on social media, especially when feeling down or in a rut. I find that going out to interact with friends, families, or your significant other yields a more positive outcome instead of falling down the rabbit hole of social media. The last part is to practice gratitude. This is something I struggle with myself occasionally, but looking at the bigger picture often helps. The fact that we're able to watch this video now with vibrant colors on a piece of technology that will have been considered sorceries decades ago something to be grateful for. Personally, I myself, like many others, still often fall into the trap of comparison and feeling inadequate, especially with my ego and competitiveness. However, taking a step back and practicing gratitude, looking internally on my own progress and defining my own success instead of society's expectation, have massively helped me from feeling inadequate. Again, I wanted to point out that this is me speaking from my own experience and I'm by no way an expert in this as I still have plenty to learn from. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope that you can take away a thing or two from this. Leave a comment below if you have any thoughts on this or simply share your experience with others. Thanks for watching.